The eviction wave is finally here as the U.S. economy and the housing market continue to spin out of control. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I want to thank you for coming. If you're returning, I want to thank you for your continued support. Before we get into today's red hot topic, I'm going to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for my final thought. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. It is very important to stay close to the channel in these very very tricky times. All right, folks, welcome to the channel. It's always an honor and a privilege to be with you. I hope you're all doing great. Buckle up and strap in. I got a hard hitting pull and punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows and sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. And friends, we got a massive one to talk about today. This one is skinning very, very serious. I laugh at this stuff. It's like a built in self defense mechanism to wrap my head around what's exactly going on out there. And even though we've been reporting on this since the birth, of this artificial housing bubble. That was one of the comments I used to always see in the comments when I came and started warning people, this is a housing bubble, the dust will settle, there will be blowback, and we will pay the piper. No, Scott, this time is different. You're right, it is different. It's worse, this one is insane. It is way worse than the last housing bubble. We've eclipsed the last housing bubble. The fiscal cliffs, that we knew were coming, mortgage forbearance, eviction bans, foreclosure bans, all this, all these fiscal cliffs are now finally playing out and we're doing our best to navigate through this, right? We knew these things were gonna have blowback. These were polarizing events. Most of us, it had our full eviction bans. You can evict non-paying tenants. Well, that has changed and evictions are spiking. Millions and millions of Americans are about to be pushed on to the streets my friends this is happening and this all could have been avoided we let the one asset class the biggest asset class in the world the u.s housing market find itself in a bubble again like i've always said to all my people who are this time is different listen it doesn't matter how you find your how you find or found yourself in a housing bubble or what caused it the facts are we are in one that's all you need to know. So let's get out of the problem and in the solution. Ring the bell and sound the alarm and let people know this one's going to have blowback. Now is the time. Well, it might be too late for many, many like we're about to see. It was the time to play it safe in that euphoria and that FOMO. And most people drank that, that real estate Kool-Aid and went out. And I saw it firsthand. It was head spinning. Head spinning the way my phone was ringing off the hook. We were so incredibly busy with people paying over asking price on real estate in that last bubble people want to keep talking about that this time is different. In the last bubble, people weren't giving asking price. We were writing offers on property. That's what we do. You come on the market, you get into negotiations and you write offers. Unless you come on the market under ask, you know, under market value, you're 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 not getting asking price. We went way above and beyond asking price at levels never record, seen before. Biggest bubble in, in history, in world history is going to provide some blowback. So here we are, friends. We are going to see some. Thank you to anybody that's continued to follow and subscribe to this channel. If you're new, please subscribe right away. There has never been a more important time to get forward thinking, critical thinking, centered and surrounded with like minded people iron sharpens iron that's what we're going to do here today one of you guys a subscriber and we get so many and thank you so so very much we utilize i utilize a lot of this stuff and today we're going to do that subscriber emailed some numbers on evictions and for me you guys know i'm not super data driven i always rely on my experience i'm a walking talking temperature check and industry heat mapping individual that's just been able to give you guys forward thinking critical thinking formulate my own thoughts not let somebody else do it for me right there's this like i've always said it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this one out anytime you do what we just did mortgage forbearance, mortgage forbearance eviction bans foreclosure bans unemployment benefits pp checks to every household in america let the housing market get way out of hand and then kick the can down the ro road too way too far and now we want to try to fight inflation Come on, give me a break. This is insane. This is an absolute insanity. So congratulations again. I know this isn't always easy, but I'm doing it. Hopefully, 
in a way that's slightly entertaining, educating, and hopefully informational. That's all I can do as I raise awareness and ring the bell. So please stay tuned to the end because my final thought, I always do my best to wrap these things up and give us some kind of message of hope. That's what we need right now is hope. Listen, we're going to weather a storm. It's always happened. We've always had booms and busts in these markets. So we just went through a pretty big boom. Bust is coming. So today, to drive our point home, we're going to read a little article that was sent in from one of our subscribers. Again, thank you so much. Then we'll meet back here and wrap this one up. Let's get started. Our subscriber wrote, Hi, Scott. Just saw this story. It's going to get ugly over the next few months. And here we go. Buckle up and strap in. This is courtesy of the Census Bureau. 3.8 million renters will likely be evicted in the next two months. Why the rental crisis keeps getting worse. And here you go, my friends. This is what your neighborhood could be looking like soon. We can already see it is getting started. In fact, I've even reported in my own area and shown some similar photos. Let's keep reading. The combination of soaring inflation, the end of most eviction moratoriums, and rental assistance payments and an extremely low vacancy rate has pushed rents up and many renters out. Evictions are up too. According to the eviction lab at Princeton University, in August, evictions were 52% above average in Tampa, 90% above average in Houston, and 94% average in Minneapolis-St. Paul. While the federal government has distributed the bulk of pandemic-related rental assistance grants, some states and cities have been slow to make the money available to landlords on behalf of the tenants who can't pay their rent. As the Federal Reserve has increased interest rates to cool off the economy and bring down inflation, that move has pushed U.S. mortgage rates up from less than 3% a year ago to 5.13% by mid-August. And the article goes on not to paint a very rosy picture. Let's get back to the office and wrap this one up. All right, welcome back. So there you go. Just to drive our point home, that's what's going on. Evictions are finally spiking. The fiscal cliffs that we reported on when this whole bubble was manifesting and we knew it would play out. Nobody knew when it was playing. Nobody has crystal ball. Timelines are very hard to predict. But we had a pretty good idea. I know I've been very fortunate because for whatever reason, if I have timelines on my mind, I'm going to come here and, and report. And I reported a year ago, by this summer, we will see this market shift and inventory will flood in and price reductions will spike. And I said, don't be surprised if you see certain properties hit at least 50% below their original asking price or euphoric values. We, are get, we got mighty close because we saw the inventory come. We saw the market shift. We saw the price reduction spike. Almost the majority of all properties on the market right now are experiencing what, you ask? Price reductions. This is the front end of a correction. The next step will be a recession. If we can't stop it there, we are in, entering an economic depression. And these evictions, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. <sighs> I don't know if I can say it anymore here in California. I guess the unhoused, the unsheltered, we used to call them homeless people. But, you know, this is unfortunate because I do want to be sensitive to, to anybody that finds themselves. And it's, it's a lot of people just haven't lived through economic turmoil in the form of a housing bubble the way a lot of us have, or at least some of us that are willing to talk about it. There's a lot of industry professionals out there. They drank the Kool-Aid or they're pushing that narrative. They're about to get the rug pulled themselves. They base their cost of living on, on this euphoric income that came through an artificial housing market. They are one step away from the people we're talking about today, my friends. And I hate to say it. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator. Somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understanding the biggest housing bubble ever artificially produced in world history is having its blowback. We're watching it unfold right in front of our eyes. If we talk about these things in a way that makes at least a little bit, bit of sense, we'll be much less blindsided by it when it happens. That way we can navigate through it much more efficiently. Much more efficiently. Rich people didn't get rich buying their primary home in the height of a super bubble. They got rich buying outside the bubble. That is my plan for most of you if that's what you want to do. Like, I don't know what you guys want to do. I know most of us just want to know what's happening here with our economy. It's failing. It is failing. 
So like I said, correction, recession, depression, those are the three levels of an economic downturn. We are entering a real estate correction now. I mean, we're in a real estate recession, really. But the numbers, the values, the homes are lagging. It's a lagging indicator. We are, in fact, in a recession. And mainstream media now reporting, is this a housing recession? It's, it's over. Nail in the coffin. When mainstream media gets a hold of it, this one is trending the wrong direction. And because of our digital diet today, contagion is going to move this thing just as quick as it happens. So I really want you guys to understand the things that are going on. Insulate yourself. I've always said, save your money, save your cash for the crash, save it for a rainy day, save it for whatever you need to save it for. This is the reality, my friends. Only the strong will survive in this one. And like I said, centered and surrounded with like-minded people. Iron sharpens iron. We, we have to band together in these times. And the first step of getting past the problem, admit there was a problem. That was a massive problem. Now we're going to practice acceptance and move away from the problem. But we got to continue to heat map, temperature check, and save as many lives as possible. Because when this thing hits, it's going to blindside many, many people. And we really want to help people in these times. Times. If you appreciate the content, I do want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links are in the description of this channel if you'd like to message me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. Also, there's a second channel I've created around the motorsports industry, a industry I worked in for many, many years that I love, and it's very important for us to have hobbies. Most of you know I love, love motorcycles. I worked in that industry for many, many years. That's where I learned sales. Link for that new channel in the description if any of you guys are interested in that. And please just give it a follow and support. Thank you for that. If you're interested in buying or selling real estate here in America today, there's an email in the description for you as well. I have a network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. I will see you on the next video.